Hey guys, it's Random Reviews 1100 here, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Hoverboard, Smart Bound Scooter, Iohawk, Funky Duck, Mono Rover 2, whatever you want to call it. They all do the same thing, but here I have one. The I got I purchased mine from Hoverboard360.com, and I bought mine for $400. And the one I came with, the one I bought came with a key to turn it on and off. So yeah, it also came with these uh, the bumpers, so if you tumble and it spins in circles, it'll keep the tops protected. They were pre-installed, so yeah. The tires are not, the gen this is not a generic one, this is, like some are, this is a, a, the actual one. But um, yeah, these tires are, um, you can't pump them up, they're hollow inside. They're six and a half inches long, I think and their air pressure so you can't ever pump them up and um yeah it's and then in the front here we have let me zoom in so you can see i'm gonna just go right into the review we have these lights these leds right here that light up when you put your feet on the pressure sensitive pads knowing when your foot is on they'll light up and then that that's kind of like a headlight so and one on the other side too so if the, you like um, uh, are on the street, cars can see you coming. And then yeah, uh, and I'll I'll go ahead and turn this to the side, and I'll show you the tires here. There's the tires, which are not. They're kind of the plate is a little bit different from the generics, generic ones. But they are not quite as cool as the other brands out there. But I'll go ahead and show you the key. If I can get the right. There we go. Right here is our lock button to turn it off. And, and then right here, the second button down is our unlock button. Here is our how when it turns on or when it's telling you how. If the battery's about to die, you turn and push that to see how loud you want it. Then on the very bottom is the one if you want to have advanced mode or beginner mode. I'll talk about that right now. Advanced mode is when you're, uh, after you've kind of got the basics down and you want to go a little faster and you want to, when you're turning, you go a little faster. That's advanced. And then when you're a beginner, this thing slows down and it won't, the, won't go as fast as it can. It'll go and then beginning it'll go in between in the middle of how fast it can go now it won't be able to rev up as quick because it'll be on beginner but you can just switch it by pushing on the bottom button then it has like a keychain hook <laughs> sorry i got a stuffy nose and then um yeah here we have our display panel i'll go ahead and zoom in on that so if I turn it on, right over here, I'll show you that button in a second. You can see the battery right here, it's fully charged. And then on this side, if you put your foot on, it shows that, that shows that um, you have a foot on. So that dot turns on. So yeah, I got the gold one for, for like I said, $400 in the US. The gold one, and then I'll go ahead and show you on the back. Ugh. Right here. I'll go ahead and zoom on in on that. Hold on, let me reposition the camera. We have our power on, power off button. And then right here we have our charging port, which I'll show you the battery right now. Here's the brick. Here, let me go ahead and zoom out. So, yeah. Okay, so here is the brick, charging brick, and then you plug it into the uh, wall, the outlet in one in your home. And here is where you stick it into the board. As you can see, there's like three little dots right there, and you align them with the hoverboard. And sometimes you have to. They don't, it doesn't quite fit in perfectly, but if you figure out a way to stick it in, 
then you'll get in like this then you just plug in the wall and there's a little indicator right here you can't see that very well but right there it'll be red when charging and green when it's done so yeah so in order to sync the key like get it so the hoverboard you have to turn it on manually then you have to turn it off and it'll be synced and this light right here flashes blue light and then you turn it on all right so i'm going to show you how to get on the hoverboard and we're, we're going to go ahead and ride it first i gotta get you guys okay so yeah we're going to go ahead and ride it i'll turn it on with the key and what you want to do is you want to put either left or right foot on and then quickly bring up your other foot then start writing let me pick this one and um you lean forward if you want to go for it then to go backwards you just lean backwards to turn you put one foot a little bit forward and then tilt one back just a tad and you will spin and these things are pretty quiet they're not really loud but they are a little loud so yeah, and they're pretty cool, but they are expensive, and if you go on Amazon, you could get scammed if you get the generic one. It might catch on fire, as you know by the news. They're catching on fire, but if you don't get a generic one, and then more, a little more expensive one, a little nicer one, then you will not have yours catch on fire. It is a lithium ion battery, and that's why people think it's catching on fire. It's probably true, but... If you charge it for too long it probably will no matter if you have one like mine or just the ones from Amazon this thing can actually go I forgot to tell you uh, this thing can go 10 to 13 miles per hour it's pretty fast and dangerous and it'll start beeping at you if you get to around 10 to tell you that you should either slow down you're probably gonna fall off and my thoughts final thoughts on these if you can afford it go ahead and get one because I mean I know they're expensive, but they're they are pretty fun. So, I mean, yeah. Hey, hope you guys enjoyed this review on the hoverboard, IoHog, Funky Duck, Mono Rover Two, Smart Bound Scooter, whatever you want to call it. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.